as a Middle Eastern woman, for example, when women's rights is a, is a Western issue, even with all its merits, it's immediately, ha ha, it's about Western imperialism, it's about Westerners imposing our, their own ideology on us, particularly when the concept of culture is involved. I am one of these people, I have to be very truthful, I shrink when people talk about culture. I shrink because like, here they go, here we go, it's gonna about attacking about how the culture I belong to, that is my essence, bad. You know, it's bad. It's, it's about you do this, you do this, you do, and it's about pin, uh, finger pointing. And we need to get out of the cultural discussion. But if you shift the discussion and you say this is about the economic growth and prosperity for the whole nation, actually, and you actually cannot do it, scientifically speaking, without engaging women. And in order to engage women fully, you must invest in her complete access to education, and you must invest in her protection from violence, and you must invest in her health access. And all these things becomes a prerequisite for what I call engaging her as a full active citizen, which is in the vested interest of the nation. <laughs> It is a pragmatic argument and not a moral one necessarily, or it's coming at it from a pragmatic perspective and not a moral one. And this is one way, in my opinion, particularly the economic one, is a softer way at entering into the women's rights issues. Mm -hmm.